Hi everyone. For our math lesson today, we will be working on one page. We're only doing one page, page 12 in that Go Math book, place value of two digit numbers. This is how it looks. Yesterday we read the story about Kira and going to the shop, to the store to buy stickers and beads and supplies to make projects. Um, today we are learning about a uh, place value of two digit numbers. So again, in our place value system, we've learned that there's a ones place and a tens place. I'm sure you guys know that and you also probably already know the hundreds place too. Um, so on your paper on the bottom right here, I want you guys to write, um, to draw your graph. So you're going to draw ones, tens. Right now we're just doing ones and tens we will slowly start to get bigger and bigger. So I want you to draw this chart ones and tens on your paper, the ones places first, and then, I'm sorry, the ones places first and tens. All right, now let's read um, what it says. It says, use the picture to answer the question. How many sets of 10 beads are there? So sets of 10 beads. So let's see, how many, this um, set of beads has 10 beads on it, or the, right? It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So how many sets of ten beads are there? There's one, let's get a pencil. There's one, two, three, four, five. So now there's like little ones here, and we know that these are not a set because these are not ten. These are just ones, little separate beads. So we're not going to include that, but we have one, two, three, four, five, right? One, two, three, four, five sets of 10 beads. So we're gonna write five here. Five sets of 10 beads means there's actually how many small individual beads? Greater than those are actually 50 beads, right? Five sets of 10 is 50. Five, uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, right? How many single beads are there? So now let's look here on this side. How many single beads are there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven single ones beads. How many beads are there in all? Does it say the tens or the ones? No, it just says in all. How many beads are there? Well, we know if there's five sets of ten beads and there's five in the tens place, and if there are seven sets of ones beads, then there are seven in the ones place, and that makes the number 57. You can also count it. Well, these are all 10, so we can count by 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and then there's seven little ones here, so if this is 50, and this one is seven. Because again, when you separate that like this, this is the ones. And this is the tens. All right, so it's 57. Where is my mouse? There it is. 57. All right. How many beads would you get if you buy two sets of 10 beads and three single beads? So two sets of 10, that means there's two in the tens place. So looking at my board, there's two in the tens place. He's buying two sets of 10 and three single beads, three in the ones place. What number does that make? 23, you're right, 23 three beads. Ooh, that's a really ugly looking three. Let me erase that. See if I can. Oh, I think I can. All right, let's try that again. Oops. Yeah. Okay. 23. There we go. All right, number five, how many beads would you get if you buy four sets of 10 beads and five single beads? Four sets of 10 beads, that means there's what in the tens place? Four, there's four in the tens place, four sets of 10 beads and five single beads, that means there's five ones. Four tens and five ones makes what number? 45. 
So I'm going to write 45. All right. Uh, let's see if I can go to the bottom and see what that last question is. Uh, write a riddle about a two-digit number. Have a classmate solve your riddle. Okay, so you obviously don't have anyone to solve your riddle, but you can write a riddle. So write a riddle about a two-digit number. So a riddle is like a question. So just write a question about a two-digit number. You can basically rewrite this question and just change the sets of 10 beads and change the sets of five uh, single beads. So you can change that four number and you can change the five number and boom, you have a new question with a new answer. My question would be, since obviously I'm not going to write it down, uh, but my question would be, um, how many beads, because remember, I'm just kind of copying this question and rephrasing it. How many beads would you get if you buy, I can't use four, they use four. If you buy seven sets of ten beads and three, you can't use five, remember, change the number and three single beads. So if I have seven sets of 10 and three single, then that's seven sets of tens and three single. Remember, this is the ones place, this is the tens place. Then I have the number 73. So then I actually have 73 beads. Okay, so I need you to go ahead and write your own riddle and answer it just the way I did. I didn't write it because I'm using a mouse and I can't write with a mouse. So, um, but you get the idea. Okay. All right. Awesome. Today's lesson was very short. Tomorrow we will start lesson 1.1. We won't finish it all in a day, but we'll start it tomorrow. Okay. See you later.